Hi, I'm Marion May Campbell, and uh, I'm very thrilled that Rodope has hosted my publication, um, Poetic Revolutionaries, Intertextuality and Subversion, um, which comes out of a long process of thinking about literature, to start with in the French tradition. Um, my first um, postgraduate work was on Mallarmé. Um, I did a maîtrise in France on, on La Première de Faune um, in, in terms of sort of syntax, the interaction of syntactic and phonics systems in, in La Première de Faune of all things. Um, and since then, thankfully, I've evolved a little bit into wider considerations uh, beyond a few, a handful of poems by Malamé. Um, this project was provoked by, I guess, a refusal to be pessimistic about the power of literature to modify perception, the power of literature to get some kind of critical um, and transformative purchase on its host culture. So I wanted to find a context in which to consider the work of three Australians, Kathleen Mary Fallon, who's uh, working hot, um, is very much a cult readership, uh, it came out in the um, late 1980s and was reissued in the in year 2000. Then there's Kim Scott, the indigenous, the Australian of mixed indigenous Noongar and European descent, and Brian Castro, whose work, Shanghai Dancing, is arguably a polybiography uh, or a fiction informed by polybiographic strands of his cultural inheritance, which include Jewish, African, uh, Portuguese, Chinese, French, and so on. And um, these three writers who continue an avant-garde tradition needed to be put, I, I, I thought, in, in, in a context of intellectual inheritance that links them to such writers as Jean Genet, um, the French poet, playwright and novelist, Monique Wittig, the great avant-garde experimenter whose uh, politics of Marxist lesbianism uh, don't dominate, but rather whose innovation with form is in itself a critical force. Then um, I can, went on to consider the work of Angela Carter, focusing on uh, The Bloody Chamber, Kathy Acker, Blood and Guts in High School, and uh, then into the Australians. Um, and I think a link, the link of all these works is a compositional logic of um, montage, um, a degree of poetic fragmentation, um, a certain heteroglossia uh, where different registers and social discourses are parodied and put into friction, at times violent, um, where moments of imperial history are, uh, are actually rendered through uh, strategies of quotation and then parodied by the context in which, they're, uh, in, in which they're juxtaposed with fictional uh, passages. So all, um, but all of these writers, too, have um, an interest in the metamorphic body or in becoming animal. And um, they are all performative in the sense that categories like gender, uh, uh, ethnicity, um, human, non-human, all of these categories are, are deconstructed, de radically destabilized, um, and which, which is a, a big part of their revolutionary potential.